Hey, Snooker's back for the first in our series. Oh, yeah. What Linux for you? Okay. So I've got right out, right out here for something completely different than none of you would probably choose for your first distro. Your very first. Now, the reason I've chosen is some of you may have aging hardware, okay? But you want it to run as a fully functioning computer with everything all ready to go. You just want to put the disk in, load the operating system, which is very easy by the way, then once we're all installed, everything should be there for you. And this is why I've chose Lixi, as I call it. This is the latest release candidate, and very nice it is too, although default wallpaper when you install it up is not my cup of tea whatsoever. Okay. I'll quickly go through it with you, and then I'll give some reasons why I've chosen this one. Up here we have our RAM usage, so here's 250 mega RAM, that's more than it used to, but obviously computers are getting newer, older computers are newer than they used to be, if you know what I mean. So if you've got a 10 year old Q6600 or even an old Core 2 Duo, this should be fine. It's my CPU monitor, it's not using anything, okay? nothing at all. My weather is set, my time is set, out of the box. I didn't have to do anything whatsoever. You can randomly change the wallpapers if you want to. It comes with plenty. I'll just go through some of them with you before we go any further. So if I click there for random wallpaper. Oh, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. Next one. Oh, man. Mm. Very dark colours. Not sure about them ones. There is a lot here, okay, for you to choose. So we're just going to get that nice one there. Just for the time being. And it's very red and green. and but Not black and yellow, black and yellow. You know what it is. Anyway, on our bottom bar here. We have four desktops we can use. One, two, three, four. That's number one. And down here with a plus sign. What does that mean? Well, you can move all these up and down in your menu if you want to. Would you want to? Not really, would you? No. You can go to the taskbar. You can show your tool tips, icons only, flat buttons if you want to flat buttons. Use the mouse wheel. You can change things here if you want to. Also here you can only change for the taskbar only or the application bar only. So. That's quite good. Another reason to choose it as your first distro, basically. Okay. We go to the menu itself. It's very, very easy. It's very LXDE. What would you expect? Okay. It's going to be, isn't it? But what I do like about it, even though the download is quite large, especially if you've got a bad internet connection, it does come with everything you're going to need. And if it's just for your auntie, uncle, or you don't do computing a lot, you just want you know, a normal computer, but be able to do stuff that you wouldn't want to normally do. This is the one for you personally, in my experience. Accessories, usual. If you're a new user, you can look at some of them, you go, what the hell is that? Well, we'll go past that one, because you don't want to know, do you? It's not really interesting to you. Audio and video. There is everything there that you would need without having to download anything, okay? So you've got Arista Transcoder. You transcode in multimedia stuff for your multimedia devices, like your phones. Not iPhones, by the way, because they're locked as locks can be. Audacity, of course, sorry, my mouse moved. For doing stuff like that, okay. GUVC view for webcamming, okay. Open shot, for doing your open shot stuff. So I'll open up. This all comes pre installed, and that's why I rather like it. But one problem with open shot here is if you want to make an animated title, it hasn't got Blender, okay. So that's how I want to do dissolving text. I'll click on there. You have to download Blender itself and put the Blender path. But if you look on online or on YouTube, there's plenty of videos, and I've done several myself. I had to do that. It's quite simple. So we'll cancel that, and we'll close that program. Okay. Go further down, because this is what you really, what I've really chosen this for is for a new user, or say an aging user that's only used Windows before and doesn't want to get rid of their computer because they can't afford newer. Okay. Plenty of games. If you're 40 plus, these will be ideal for you. Okay. That's all you want to do. Get Tetris, bit of Mahjong, bit of Breakout, Jeweled. Jewel? Yeah, Jewel. Yeah, it's okay. Go normal. There's a lot of online games like this at the moment, and they make money out of them. You don't really need them. It's already pre installed, it ain't going to cost you any money, okay? And they won't get any of your details. I've said, no, I don't want to see the current game. Further down on the menu here, under graphics, PDF viewer, a font manager, so you can get more fonts if you want to, but most people won't want to do that, okay? You just won't, won't bother, will they, really? LibreOffice Draw, because it comes with a full suite. Mirage, viewing your images. Photo prints, imagine multiple photos on a single page. So you say you want to do a collage for your family or friends. You've got kids, for instance, nanny and granddad. Ideal. Shot wheel for your photos. 
a simple image reducer. You know, sometimes the photos are really big, especially say you're on eBay and it's just too big. Easy done. And simple scan for scanning from your printer. This supports nearly all scanners and combination of scanners out there. Remember, it's based on 1604, so it's the latest update, so it's going to be there for quite a long time. Under internet, okay, <clears throat> we get okay, Pigeon, good, Linfo, Mao and News. Now, it comes with Sea Monkey at the moment, but if you want to add Firefox, that's entirely up to you, okay? And under Office, as I said before, not only do you get the full LibreOffice suite, you also get an ebook reader. What more would you want, really? Now, for a new user, Lixi is the one for me, okay? For a simple reason, you don't have to fluff about putting extra stuff on it really but yeah, really to, let's be honest you just want to turn the computer on do your work watch a bit of youtube if you do facebook you might want to do that and that's all you have to do you won't have to install any other program yeah that's why i think it's good that's the first one in the series Linux. hmm what linux for you sneaky linux out i see you later bye bye